On this video, I'm going to show you how to add an electronic signature to Google Forms. So follow me to my desktop right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is Duke Magazine. On this video, I'm going to show you how to add an electronic signature to your Google Forms. That means that you're going to be able to send out forms with a signature for your submitters, all right? So this is Google Forms. And one thing you need to know is that they don't have a native integration to add the signature system. You have to rely on third-party creators to add the add-on. But on this video, I'm gonna show you how, so don't worry. Okay, so this is Google Forms. And if you're in Gmail, Google Sheets, or somewhere else, just click on this menu button, scroll down here, and you're gonna find this purple icon that says Forms. Click on it, and it's gonna take you to Google Forms. Okay, so let's get started with a blank form. And this is going to open up Google Forms. Now, in this case, we're able to create our form. We're going to leave it just as is, just for testing purposes. And the first thing we need to do is add the signature add-on, okay? And that's going to be available here in this menu button that says More. We're going to click on it, and down here it says Get Add-ons. Let's click on this, and there's several add-ons available, but the one we want is the signature add-on. So let's go ahead and search for signature. And there's several signature add-ons that we can use. In this case, I'm going to show you this one, which is made by Bolo Forms. So let's go ahead and select it. Let's go ahead and install it. And we're going to go through the process of allowing this signature system to connect with Google. So it's asking for our email account. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's give it access. Yes, we're going to give it access to edit, create, delete, and everything we need for this to work. Okay, now it's installing the add-on. Let's give it a few seconds and it should be ready. There we go, it's now installed, and there's a few steps that's gonna let us know. First of all, where can we find this add-on once we have it installed, as we did right now? And it's in this little puzzle icon. Let's hit next, and the step two, additional setup, which we're gonna do right now. So let's click on done, let's get on out of here. And as I mentioned before, you can create your form as you would normally, and then to add the signature system, click on this puzzle icon right here that says add-ons, let's click on it, and here it is. Signatures in Google Forms by Bolo. Let's go ahead and select it and open. And it's going to open up on the bottom right this system. Here we go. It's popping up and it's loading. Let's give it a few seconds. And one of the things that you have to consider with this signature system is that you need to sync the form. So each time that you modify the form, you need to sync it. You don't do that frequently, but if you do modify it, change a question, add more questions to it, then you need to sync the form again, okay? So let's go ahead and sync this form. There we go, form has been synced. Let's go ahead and take us to the signature and it's gonna take us to a brand new link. So the link that I just provided here on the bar, we can go ahead and copy this and share that link so it takes us to this particular form. So it's an integration or a blend of Google Forms and the signature system that's Bolo Forms. So again, just like we do have with the Google Form, which was like brought into this system, is we add the email. So let's go ahead and add a test email. There we go. There's only one question on that form that we just created and the signature. Let's go ahead and sign this and submit. Boom, it has now been submitted and this form has been added to Google Forms and the Bolo Form system. So it's in both sides of the system, right? We can go ahead and download this PDF where we're gonna be able to preview the form that we've just signed. Now there's also an email that's gonna be sent out to the person who filled it out and the person who created this form. So here it is question the answer, the email, the option that was answered, in this case, option one, and the signature. So we now have a PDF that is tied to that form that was just filled out. Okay, let's go ahead and close this and close this form. Okay, there's several more things that I wanna show you about this add-on, okay? First of all, we can view all the responses through this option right here. So it's opening responses, and there's a new pop-up window. In this case, there's only one response, but if you have several responses, we're gonna be able to view them right here, okay? And we can go ahead and download the PDF on the dashboard if we like to, all right? Let's go ahead and close this. And there's also the multi-sign option. That means that we can add multiple signers to be sent out and have them sign it. Now, these are individual signers, not several individual, not multi-signers in one single form, okay? So for example, I can add the name here and the email and add more signers through here change the subject, add a message, and send it out to all these people to have it signed. As I mentioned before, it's one signature per form sent out, right? And then the settings. In the settings for this, we can go ahead and connect this to Google Sheets. There's also options for the watermark on PDF, the IPA agreement, etc. But all these would have to be in the account inside of Bolo. So do consider that, all right? 
that, but that's how easy it is to add the signature system here on Google Forms. And as I mentioned before, there's more add-ons available for signature systems. So it's a matter about testing these signature add-ons and decide which one is the right fit for you. Now, if you want more features, more customizations, then I do recommend that you check out JotForm. Now, in this case, this is my JotForm dashboard and they have, a, they have a bunch of templates and a bunch of customizations for the signature system. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. So as I mentioned before, this is my job form dashboard. And if you head on up here where it says templates and go down here where it says sign templates, let's go ahead and select that. They have hundreds of signature templates available. That means that we can go ahead and use one of these uh, lease agreements, bill of sales, etc. And I can go ahead and use this with my signature system. So if I click on this preview, I'm able to view this form. I can test it out. I can see how it works. And if I like it, I can go ahead and use the template. But in this case, Let's go ahead and skip on this one. I want to show you the next one. Um, let's use this one that has two signers in one single form. So one agreement, all right? So in this case, you can see there's a purple highlight and there's an orange highlight, which is two signers on this particular uh, payment agreement template. So I'm going to use this template to show you how it works because as I mentioned before, they have a bunch of customizations with this, okay? So the first thing you notice here is two colors, right? As I mentioned before, we have the me in this case which is the owner of this payment agreement and on this example and then there's a purple one which is the debtor now it doesn't stop there we can add more roles to this so if you have someone else that needs to fill out certain sections of this agreement or payment signature system we can go ahead and add them here as many as needed now we can go ahead and just assign these by just clicking on this drop down button and selecting who is going to be able to fill out this section all right so we can go ahead and add more sections too. Now down here, we have the signature for both of these people. And if I click on this one, remember this is the owner, which is me. And the purple one is debtor. So these are two people who are gonna sign it individually. And if I need to add more elements, I just click on this plus button and I can drop in the elements needed to be filled out here and assign it to the person who needs to fill out that section, all right? So you have several options available here, even signatures. So if I want to add a third signature, I can just go ahead and do so by adding one here, add in a new row and signer two is fine. We'll leave it as it is right now, right? We can go ahead and change the color if we like, but we're going to keep it there. As I mentioned before, this is just for testing purposes. And each one of these elements has the options to modify it here by changing the signer, the field label, so we can find who is the one who's going to fill this out or sign it and make it required or not. So this one, we're going to turn it off. It doesn't have to be required. It's just for testing purposes. So once you add all the elements and you're good to go, you designated who's going to fill out what, we can go ahead and preview this document through here. And preview it gives us the access to actually test it out and fill out these sections. So for example, if I need to fill out the date here, I can do so, go into the next section, etc. And I can view the roles through here. So for example, if I only want to view the roles for me, then these are only going to be highlighted, which helps me identify what I need to fill out. Now, this is a really great option because we're able to fill out these sections before sending it out to the next person. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's get it out of preview. Once we go to publish, we're able to send this out. Now, the first thing we're going to do is add the name and the email that's going to be sent out to. Now, this is me and here's a debtor and here's a signer two or third in this case because I've added it just for testing purposes. Now there's a really neat option that's available here, which is signing order. That means that I can drag and drop these depending of who needs to fill out what first, okay? So for example, me, I would need to fill out first the sections that were highlighted for me and sign it before it's sent out to the next person. Now this is a really good option to have, especially when you want to have someone fill out all the details before it actually arrives to the next person. If you don't need this and you want to be send it out to three people in this case at the same time, you go ahead and turn that off. And you have more options available here for expiring in date, automated reminder emails, signer delegation, CC recipients, and a whole lot more options. Okay. So this is a great option to use when you have a document that's ready to be filled out and signed. But if you want to create a form that has a signature system, that is possible too. So let me show you that. Let's go back into job form. And we're going to go into the form section. So let's go into the main dashboard. And here we go. Here's the forms. And we're going to create a form. And there's options available. So I can create a signable document like the one you saw right now. But I can upload my own document if I like or start from scratch. So you can see here, upload a document or use a template. Or I can create a form and add the signature system. So let's go into classic form. 
There we go. Let's drop in some basic elements, full name and the email. And there's the signature option right here. So once I add the signature system, it's available and ready to use as a signature system. But if I want to make this in sign automation, I can enable this option here. So I can go ahead and enable this. And now we have the enable job form sign automation, which turns this into a signature system, all right? So I can go ahead and select an email that's going to be sent out to, and I can enable the send audit trail. So several options available for signature system here in job form. So if you're looking for something more robust, more complete with more customization, you can go ahead and check out job form. And if you're looking for an add on on how to add it on Google forms, then this is the way to go by adding an add on. As I mentioned before, Google doesn't have a native integration for a signature system, but you, you can use the add on from a third party creator. But there you go. That's how you're going to add the electronic signature on Google forms. I thank you all for watching. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about the add ons here on Google forms and what you would like to see in the future. Plus, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.